Oh. 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 Oh my god. Holy crap. Wait. Wait, mommy to the rescue. <gasps> oh my gosh. Hello, hello. Welcome in, everyone. Welcome in. Today, we are going to be playing more of the Pentaconis main uh, trailblazer quest and storyline. We're going to be continuing where we left off last time. So last time we got introduced to all of the characters. We got introduced to all the mini games and we are about to go, I guess, uh, go on an adventure inside we're gonna go talk to an eye and then go like into a dungeon or something, something like that. <laughs> but yeah, so this is where I'm gonna continue playing where we left off last time. And I'm super, super excited because I think from what others have been saying, this is actually where the story truly, truly begins for the first Pentaconi act. And I'm really, really super duper excited to see. <laughs> I'm excited and scared at the same time because Everyone says it has lots of twists and turns and also some pain. So yeah, you know, Star Rail, there's always going to be some pain here and there. So it's a little worrying, but I am super, super, super stoked to see what is going to happen nonetheless. And yeah, yeah, that's what we're doing today. So get ready. I can't wait. But yeah, before we begin real quick, if you guys enjoy the video and the reaction, please make sure to drop a like and comment down below and also subscribe to the channel if you want to be notified the next time I'm live or post a video. So maybe you guys can come, you know, hang out live as well. <laughs> but yeah, apart from that, let us get into it. I can't wait. I can't wait. Let's go. Woo! There we go. Okay, let's see. Let's head on over. Yeah, so last time where we left off, we were just about to speak to the big eye inside the shop, Mr. Edward, I think. And then Sampo was gonna go show us some fun adult activities. His words, not mine, pressing, okay? His words. I'm not being sus, that's what he said. I'm just stating it verbatim. He's gonna show us adults have, how to have a good time, so. <laughs> So yeah, apparently uh, it gets really lit from here on out. So get ready, get ready for it. <laughs> I don't know if I am. Alrighty, Dr. Edward. Welcome to Dreamscape Sales Store. Dr. Edward, that's your son. Long time no see. Last time I came here, you uh, peddled me out of 100K credits. So <laughs> how much will it cost this time? I wonder. <laughs> Trailblazer of the Astral Express. <laughs> Here we are again. Uh huh? I see you've got two friends with you. Well, they seem like fun people. Well, one of them I feel like is not actually my friend. <laughs> I don't think this is actually Sambo from Bellabog. <laughs> Cause earlier he didn't he didn't recognize March. So this is not Sampo. This is someone pretending to be Sampo. <laughs> he tried to save it, but he did not. He did not save it at all. He was like, oh, yeah, that's why I was wondering how March could change her appearance so drastically. <laughs> Dude, you fumbled the ball. We, no, we just met and you immediately fumbled the bag, okay? <laughs> L, L's in the chat for this fake Sampo. Hello, Edward. I'd like my friends to try something fun. If you know what I mean. That is so sus. I'll be my guest. <laughs> Dr. Edward welcomes anyone who's ready for some excitement. How about we use your dreamscape? Son? Wait, can each person have their own dreamscape? Like a little house? A superb idea, sir. Let's do it. The one from last night would be perfect. Um... What's going on? I have no clue, Firefly. <laughs> this is a service we offer to our long-time customers. You can submit dreams you recently had to me. With relevant emotion prototypes, I'll be able to turn them into customized dream modes that can be experienced repeatedly. Wow, okay, that is not... That is not a rabbit hole that could go very deep at all. <laughs> So people can actually save their dreams that they like and revisit them. See, that would be really cool. I think that would be really nice. But then this is where it comes back to that whole concept from Inception, right? People who get addicted to dreams and never want to leave them because they get everything they want and pure bliss and happiness inside the dream. 
Which is obviously not great for, you know, a few reasons. <laughs> but I guess we'll see how far they take it. Any dreams you want? Exactly! Looks like you've got the picture. You probably woken up from a dream one time and wished you could just go back to dreaming it, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely have. Sometimes they're really nice. A dream I wished I could have continued after waking up. Miss Firefly, I admire your eagerness, but please be patient. Allow me to use my dream as a demonstration. Firefly didn't even say anything. She was just she was just contemplating herself and, and Sabo interrupted her. <laughs> Why is this person so rude? I trust you have prepared all the necessary materials. Please hand them over to me. Okay, oh this is all the stuff. Oh yeah, the handcuffs. And then the rose with a knife. An explosion. And then a crow and a dead crow? Oh my gosh, guys, you guys are in the game. Oh, hello. And then this is like a broken dream fragment or something. Your donation is appreciated. Well, the retrieval is complete. Calibrate the memoria and generate the dream bubble. What was Sampo imposter it's dreaming ready. about? Please close your eyes and rest your forehead against the dream bubble. Jump on in, friend. I wish you a pleasant time. <laughs> He's so sus. <laughs> I don't know if I want to, bro. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Ugh, Pretty. This? Wait, oh, we actually are back in Bellabog. Wait. Wait a second. Is this the clinic in the Bellabog underworld? Why is it empty? Oh, wait, so this person does have memories of Bellabog. So, well, I feel like it's not Sampo, though. How did I end up here? This is part of my dreamscape. Oh, that Bellabog is trippy in my is ears. Setting for this dream. Oh, no need it's to going be back and forth now. between my left and right. To get used to the feeling of being in a dream with it. Oh, whoops. I not mean to interrupt, but. Is this another note? This is by a watchmaker. Sampo's advice, become the garbage king, through, though the trash bags have been broken. Oh, wait. Oh, this is, oh, I guess this is where we get to fight all of the trash cans. <laughs> From the different trailers, the trash king. <laughs> what do you mean by this? I think I've had this dream before too. Oh, really? Well, you know what they say. Great minds dream alike. Okay, so this is where we get to fight the trash people. <laughs> Stop nitpicking the details. If you ask me, I'd say you should take a look outside, but don't get frightened by what you see. What's outside? Is it just lots of cans? <laughs> oh, it is! Oh wow, they have silver, gold, and bronze? So there's classism even within this dream? Damn, we can't escape. What? What is happening? What's happening? Why are there trash cans everywhere? <laughs> oh, that's a language I do not understand. <laughs> nice to meet you, dream diver. Is this an actual language or are they uttering gibberish? <laughs> My name is Shatana and I have a deal to offer you. Deal? What deal? Shatana, are you related to Natasha? She is standing outside the clinic. Natasha who? I don't recall meeting such a person. <laughs> Let's get back to the question. Have you heard of Tatalov, the garbage king? Should I just talk over <laughs> the the language? <laughs> He's our king, as well as the manager of all the waste in this world. Perched on his throne, he uplifts trash cans that are humble and suppresses those that are violent. He's the cornerstone of Bellabog, the lid that secures us, the barrel that reinforces us. 
However, since the thing from beyond the sky arrived here along with the eternal freeze, Tatilov's eyes have been blinded. He stopped listening to our calls, leaving the impoverished to be bullied and his loyal servants to be degraded. <laughs> Is there going to hear some English and Chinese in those? Yeah, I mean, I, I feel like you could probably hear a lot of languages in it. Usually when you just utter gibberish, <laughs> it'll end up resembling things that already exist, right? Why is this song so epic? It is. Is it the... is it a new vari variation of one of the Bellabog songs? Because it kind of sounds like the Bella, one of the Bellabog OSTs, but a bit different. The humiliation was too much for us. We intended to help the Garbage King mend his ways under the banner of the Skyfire, but we were no match for the sinister king who spread vicious rumors among the trash cans to divide us against each other. As a result, we could no longer communicate with one another using trash bags. I implore you to restore peace to the trash bags so that the trash cans can be, u can be united once more. Then, we'll be able to launch a counterattack against the undeserved king. Are you saying you want me to rally you all together? I think that's what she means. Oh, there's Firefly. I was wondering where she was. What do I need to do? But I haven't agreed to anything. <laughs> Dr. Edward said he didn't have time to make any alternative storylines. Just accept it. <laughs> no branching paths. There's only one linear one linear story here that we have to follow. <laughs> trash can is moving. Yeah, it's the trash people. We found my brother in. You have one mission. Help the trash cans with their troubles and collect three proofs of trust. Once you've accomplished that, you'll become our new king and lead the fight against the evil king. Off you go, Dream Diver. Your mission is calling for you. I'm confused. You and me both, but it's fine. We're chilling. This is a trash can prince. This is a normal looking trash can. How magical. A kingdom of trash cans actually has an ordinary trash can. This is a rare opportunity. Do you wish to do something to it? Insert trash. Of course, that's the job of a trash can. You chuck whatever random things you have on hand into its pitch black and bottomless void. A series of loud sounds thundered back. When you open your eyes again, the trash can is no longer just a trash can. It is now a trash can with arms and legs. Thank you, beautiful stranger. I am the trash can prince. And my father was assassinated by Tatalov, and I was cursed into becoming a trash can. You saved me from internment. That sounded like Japanese. Something nakata. Can I spoil? No. <laughs> no, you can't. See, this one sounds like Chinese. I shall offer everything I have. My body, my soul, my life, and even my trash bags. Just to repay your kindness. You talk like a knight of beauty! True! Then stand with me against Tatalov. I will. I will stand with you and ignite the rising smoke of rebellion until the kingdom is saved from absolute peril! Oh, whoops. You have earned my confidence. I wish for you to accept this item and my heart as a token of my sincere gratitude. I will fight for you, O oh glorious soul. I spent a while trying to figure out if Tatalov was an anagram like Tashana, but I couldn't figure one out. Tatalov? Lava. Lava ta, Tato. Loava. No, I, I can't figure it out either, Jam. <laughs> I think they remix several phrases in different languages together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what it sounds like. That's why you can kind of hear a bit of English, a bit of Chinese, a bit of Japanese in all of them. So who else should we help? Trash meaties? This particular trash can stands quietly. Its lid has chipped and faded paint. It is meticulously counting the roadside trash, occasionally sighing or scratching its head, as if struggling to memorize an astronomical number. Are you here to mock me too? Or are you seeking wise answers? What is going on? <laughs> I need proof of trust. <laughs> Give it to me. Oh, it's rare for a can to be so straightforward. I do possess a, tr a proof of trust, but now it is lost in the mountain of trash. If you want it, work with me. I have counted the majority of the trash in the city, leaving only these three newly arrived cans. 
Okay. Investigate the first can. What sort of trash would Trash Can Kingdom hold? Curiosity peaked, you open the lid of the first trash can. Unfortunately, there isn't any difference. Maybe Dr. Edward did not have time to attend these details. What's the second one? There's a comic book inside this trash can. The pages are torn and damaged. It tells of an adventure. Tatilov was once a brave trash can. With valiance and willpower, it defeated a colossal junk monster and saved a human from its monstrous maw. In order to repay Tatilov, that human turned himself into a trash can. This is actually horse. <laughs> What's wrong with being a trash can, hey, huh? Don't knock until you've tried it. <laughs> you see something unexpected. A true sting lying inside the trash can, looking back at you. Die, remnants of propagation. <laughs> it's time to rid the people of this menace. Use your bat to tell the it that... This is a kingdom of preservation. Not these bugs, no! Mitosis warning. Who dares disrupt my slumber? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to beef with this trash. For someone who doesn't play Star, Star Rail, these trash cans are a wild concept. Yeah, the, the Star Rail devs really went all out. They said that we can go a little bit crazier in Panacone because it is the land of dreams. <laughs> and I talked with other trash cans and got other scenarios. Oh, I mean, that makes sense. I think there's a few because you only need three proofs, right? So you can probably get them from various methods. After a loud boom, Propagation's crisis has ended. The world is once again peaceful. And that trash can who has endured undeserved ordeals has returned to his slumber. Thank you, Nameless. Trashmedes, not bad, young can. You've proven yourself by your wisdom and patience. You deserve this proof of trust. I'll give it to you. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, we need one more. Who should we talk to? A strange trash bag sits at the bottomless trash can. You notice the seal on the bag. A few fish bones have clipped the mouth of the bag shut. Remove the seal. Bam! Green smoke wafts up from within the bag together with a loud noise. It twists and congeals in the air, slowly becoming a giant trash can. Finally, I am free! I am Garboski, a can of unmatched evil. Tatilov used despicable means to defeat me and sealed me in this deep and cramped trash bag. For the first 500 years of my imprisonment, I swore an oath that if a can can come to save me, I would reward them with endless wealth. Then, for the next 500 years, I swore that if a can saved me, I would reward them with endless trash. So did we come for trash or wealth? Are we, are we in the first or second 500? However, 10,000 years have passed. That's 2,500 year periods. But no cans came! Therefore, I swore that if a can came to save me, I would reward them with a painless death. Goddamn. Garboski, hello? We, we just helped you out, now you're trying to murder us? That's messed up, huh? You've come, and now you must die. That's not fair. I saved you, but I'm a person, not a trash can. You're right. You are not the savior I expected, and because you haven't betrayed my expectations, I should thank you instead. Go. I won't take your life, but that's the limit of my mercy. Oh, so he did it? I thought we were gonna battle. <laughs> Why not stand against me? Why do not stand with me against Tatilov? Countless years of captivity have whittled my flat edges. My prime is long past, never to return. I only wish to pay the rest of my life as a normal trash can. Farewell, stranger. Okay, Slay. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> um, interesting. Oh, audience can. Oh, they watched it? You dealt with the sealed demon Garboski? He is so powerful and so terrifying, but you defeated him. How magnificent of you. Oh, that got dark. I know. We just tried, someone tried to kill us. <laughs> That's the first time this has happened. You won me over, along with many others. This item carries our high regard for you. I finally collected three proofs of trust. Let's go back and deliver them. Slay! Hello, Shatana! Excellent! Looks like you've held up your side of the deal! I've waited so long for this day. Here, I'll escort you to your throne. The pillars of creation, where you'll witness the future of my people. I wish you success. Are we about to go fight? 
Mr. Boss Man. Oh. Is this where the final battle will take place? Well. Not sure how I feel about this. Well. Such as a long, tragic scene. As long as it doesn't revive the big... <laughs> <laughs> the big mecha again, and we don't have to fight that too. <laughs> then I'm chilling. The big Gundam is uh, Didn't it's tough. They say the garbage king would wait for me here. Have I been set up? Oh, oh, oh! What the? He he he! Why did Sapo sound like that? <laughs> Oh, are we going to battle now? Come on, come on! Go, Stell! <laughs> oh, so Sappho's the Garbage King? Is he Tatsuma? <laughs> Unlucky, bro. Look at all of the, these people! All the trash cans! They died! Let's go, Stell! Fight him! Oh, we are a giant Wait, trash can? What kind of nonsense is this? Oh, is this us? <laughs> Oh? Oh, we're coming back out of the dream? Guys, we transformed. This is our final form. <laughs> what? A bummer. I was really looking forward to seeing how our friend was going to overthrow the Garbage King. The Garbage King, you mean you? It really is a shame. I'd easily finish him off with one punch. The Garbage King? You're the real Garbage King. What a huge pity. Such a meaningful dream came to meaningful? an all because of Miss <laughs> What meaning did that dream play? <laughs> I was looking forward to seeing your face when the truth dawned on you. Wait, so what's the truth? Can you please tell us? Elaborate, Sample. I know we got interrupted, but you can still explain, right? Right? Don't leave us hanging. Hey, no Firefly slander, Sample. Exactly. Everyone must protect Firefly. Truth? What truth? Is this weird dream trying to hint at some hidden meaning? Hint at? No, more like reveal. Okay, can we go back then? Don't you want to find out the truth behind the dream? Don't let all that pretty scenery in the dream world distract you from your goal. As soon as you get complacent, you'll lose sight of the truth. I think what he's saying here is a actually... I think he's also referring to just Penacone, the dreamscape as a whole. Not just the specific catalog dream we had, but in general what's going on in this region and hotel because we came here to the dream to investigate uh Ak akivili for pom pom right but clearly there's nothing is as it seems don't you think this dream bubble looks really similar to modern day oh yeah Anaconda? i mean okay they just said it straight up <laughs> yeah i see they just okay they explained it a small stage is crowded with a bunch of scheming people. None of them want to be exposed under the spotlight, so they all push you to the front. I love Firefly, me too! You're not at home anymore, kid. You wandered into the depths of the unknown. Let me put it to you straight. Don't let yourself get enticed by that glowing light. I'm gonna be very disappointed if you get bamboozled by the likes of them. Of them? Who's them? Okay, so this Sampo, whoever this Sampo is, clearly has beef with someone inside this area. What in the dream world are you talking about? Sampo, what are you up to exactly? A glowing light? Is that girl still here? Oh, where'd Firefly go? She claims to be a local, but doesn't know how this world works. All she's got is street smarts. Who exactly is she? You don't find her the least bit suspicious see that's why i think i think firefly doesn't exist because i mean he's right you better hurry up and confront her if you have any questions don't let her off scot-free <laughs> i think she only exists within the dreamscape and not in reality see you around pal don't let me down oh seven fake sample we'll see you later what did sample mean is firefly hiding something I must find her and demand an explanation from her. She shouldn't be too far off. Why did she just run off though? <laughs> she just ran away. Oh, hello Firefly. This is really pretty scenery. <laughs> this shot is very good. Firefly is sus? I mean, I find, I think Sampo's sus. Firefly obviously has something that she's hiding, 
but I don't find her really suspicious, to be honest. The girl turns her body sideways, gazing into the distance, as if evading your gaze. After a momentary pause, she finally turns back and softly speaks. I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. I didn't find you suspicious. <laughs> Thank you. There are things... I'm hiding from you. Yeah, I don't doubt that. Everyone, I feel like everyone in this <laughs> dream is hiding something. <laughs> no one's ever speaking the truth. Lots I'm of illusions. And there's a reason why the Bloodhound family is after me. I also have my own purpose for joining you on your journey. But still, I appreciate your help. I mean it from the bottom of my heart. So she is the stowaway that the Bloodhound family was looking for. And, and my admiration for the Nameless is also genuine. You guys have been to a lot of worlds, met people from all walks of life, and experienced all sorts of things. Every day is a new beginning for you guys. I really love that kind of life. It's not as great as you think. You can board the Astral Express too? <laughs> Press X to doubt. <laughs> can I bring you one more place? It isn't another tourist attraction. It's my very own secret base. Okay, Firefly. We'll come, we'll come. And I'll do my best to tell you everything I know when we get there. I... Oh, wait, I... Oh, whoops. I don't know. But I hope you do. What did I select? I accidentally clicked. How am I supposed to believe you? Oh, okay. Never mind. I have no reason to be harsh on you. <laughs> <sighs> sure. Listen, I made her go broke. So I have to be a bit kinder, okay? <laughs> She's so wholesome. Cute. But yeah, that's true. We don't really know too much about her yet, but hey. She seems really genuine, so. Huh? Is something? Oh. TikTok! Help! Help me! Oh. Someone's dying! Please, come here! Is this an actual creature? What kind of thing are you? I'm not some random thing. This is Clocky, the mascot, right? So he exists as an entity? You spent all her money, that's cruel. I didn't realize Apocalyptic Hobo. I, I, I wasn't aware, okay? I thought we were supposed to spend all the money, so I did. <laughs> My bad. Wait! Can you see me? Uh, is there a problem? I can see a clock with limbs. Can you really see yeah, because we can also see the birds too, right? Clearly, MC is special. Tick tock! Wonderful! This is awesome! There's still hope for Misha! Misha? Oops, uh, I haven't introduced myself. Misha, like the bellboy? Misha? My name is Clocky. I'm a famous celebrity in Pentacony. My friends and I keep the peace in this small town. They are Hanu, Mr. Soda, Origami Bird, Hamster Ball Knight. Yeah, so we've met Origami Bird. And Misha! Misha's in trouble! Tick tock! Help! Help! Clocky, how can I help? Where where's Misha? What's what's Misha Clocky? up to? D do you mean you saw a cartoon character that doesn't exist in real life? <laughs> Guys, the voices <laughs> the voices are calling to me. <laughs> I'm not hallucinating, right? <laughs> of Penacony, I never, ever brag. Um, <laughs> where is he? <laughs> I, I can't see him. Unlucky. Clearly it's a skill issue, Firefly. That's fine. Well, we'll lead. We'll help him with his problems. You don't have to worry about that. <laughs> is this an ad for TikTok? <laughs> true, Ron. Oh, true, Ron. <laughs> true, Ron. <laughs> <laughs> Tick tock! I guess I'm only visible to those with the innocence, kindness, and honesty of a child. Like this kid here clad in gray! No, I think it's because we have the protagonist power. I won't lie, Clocky. He said only children can see him. <laughs> he said you weren't innocent, kind, or honest. <laughs> Just how so? Tick tock! Tick tock! My great friend, since you can see me, then you must be able to help me. Wait, so that means Misha is able to see Clocky too, right? Since I think they're- it seems like they're friendly. My friend, Misha! 
Sasha is in trouble. I'm begging you to help him before it's too late. Okie dokie. He says someone's life is in danger. Uh, is it really that bad? Well, are you gonna help this, um, clocky that only you can see? I don't think you're lying, as anything can happen in a dream. We can just head to the place I mentioned later. Are we really about to blow off Firefly's date for a hallucination <laughs> that we just bumped into? <laughs> We were- Firefly was about to confide in us about something and then we are just uh, we're rain checking it because we bumped into an imaginary clock that no one else can see. <laughs> you know what? Our priorities, we have them straight. <laughs> tick tock! Tick tock! Hurry up and follow me, my friend! Misha's in trouble! He's over there! Let me bring you to him! So you're saying Stell isn't legal? I mean Stell is only technically less than a year old, you know? Since, since Stell was created slash birth from the space station at the beginning, <laughs> and it's been less than a year since everything happened. So technically, we're not even one yet. <laughs> the name of Misha rings a bell to me. Anyway, better check out what's going on. When Misha is a man? Yeah, Misha is a little boy. <laughs> he's a little, he's a child. V star, like the like the enemy. I dare There's a crowd explain. over there. Looks like something really everyone, did happen. Please, calm down. Oh, oh, Acheron! Acheron's here too. Uh, everyone, please stay calm. You broke the rules, and now you're gonna have to pay the price. Are these thugs? <laughs> Punishing boss. Punishing boss. Punishing boss. Acheron will protect. Spot the main character. <laughs> <laughs> who is it? Who is it, y'all? That girl's so cool. I know. I love her. This. Isn't that Misha? Isn't that Akron? How come they are all people I know? <laughs> what do you mean by all? Akron and Misha. See? I wasn't lying. Misha really is in trouble. What is happening? <laughs> Tick -tock. I am so I'm confused. Sure? Fill me in on what's going on first. I don't think he'll tell us, but I want to know. Wait, are you talking to Clocky? Hmm. I'm really curious too. Tick tock! Tick tock! It's all Stone's fault that things Oh, Stone is the, the bad, big bad boss? Of all the lowlifes in Dreamville, Stone's the worst! He's a greedy man who wants to drive everyone out of Dreamville so that he can have all the precious stones to himself. Okay, but what are the stones? <laughs> are they just rocks or are they precious minerals? Because I know they took Aventurines when he came. So then, which is bad because I, I guess Aventurine stone is something important for the IPC. So that's why Dr. Ratio was like, oh, you sure you'll be okay? You're just a nobody without your stone. He instructed his underlings to wreak havoc in the dreamscape, taking away everyone's positive emotions. Since then, the town has been filled with anxiety and disputes. We're no longer a family. Sounds tough. Sounds like real life. Damn. As the guardian of Dreamville, I can't just sit back and do nothing. By using the power of clockwork, I Is this another mini game? Of positive emotions in the dreamscape back into people's hearts. That way, everyone can patch up their differences and get along again. If those stones are jades, this is where Kayla's villain arch begins. I mean, we don't know what types of stones they are, because technically crystals are a type of rock, you know? <laughs> so Hey! My great friend, I require your assistance. I have a feeling you'll be able to master the power of clockwork. After all, you're the special one who can see me. Also, you're a new visitor to this world, which means we have the element of surprise. If you take action now, we can catch him off guard. What is clockwork? Are you sure about this? Why don't you do it yourself? <laughs> I can't pull it off on my own. 
because they can't see me. So please, close your eyes. Silent. Tick tock. Now, our minds have moved. What is one. going on? Searching through your body. All we have to do is use clockwork on that cranky gangster boss and inject good emotions into him. Then we'll have won. Please bear in mind that you should never use clockwork with malicious intent. Well, I mean, there's a lot of things that you shouldn't do with malicious intent, but... You know. <laughs> people will be people, right? <laughs> okay, let's see, let's see. Gangster boss. Mind your own business, lass. I have to let that lady there know she's messed with the wrong person. I think you've messed with the wrong person, dude. I won't lie. Here comes the clockwork. The current emotion can be turned via the buttons on two sides. Do we make him sad? <laughs> Do we want to make him sad? <laughs> Or should we make him happy or calm? I guess calm is the real- is the proper answer here. What happens if you make him sad? Let's see, I, I'm curious. <laughs> he just starts crying? Oh no, wait, I'm sorry! <laughs> wait, I'm sorry, dude! Uh, I, I saw a dial and got it moving. I have no clue what I did. You sure I pulled that off? It must have been. Otherwise, why would he be in tears all of a sudden? <laughs> My bad, bro. I didn't know what it did. I don't want to make you cry. I feel bad now. What's wrong with Even though he was, you know being angry at my bestie, my favorite character. <laughs> oh, he's crying so hard. Even I, the guardian of Dreamville, am nearly moved to tears. My bad, bro. What's wrong, sweetie? Why are you feeling so down? <laughs> I, I thought about my mother on my home planet. Dude, so we literally just got a device that allows us to emotionally manipulate people at the flick of a dime? What do we do now? What do we do now? Whoa! Things are turning into a mess! But then again, maybe now is a good chance to ask them to leave? With great power comes great entertainment. <laughs> as long as they're fictional, right? Right? <laughs> My friend, why don't you go in? <laughs> You're right. Yeah. <laughs> Gang, you're dismissed. I need to be... I need to be alone for a while. Yes, boss. Unlucky, bro. You know what? That's fine. Go de-stress. Are you the one who helped settle everything down Sometimes here? what you need is a good cry session. You know? There's nothing wrong with crying, letting out your emotions. You feel a lot better after having just a nice emotional breakdown. <laughs> <laughs> Misha, are you acquainted with this great friend of mine? She's an esteemed guest whom I've befriended recently. I told you about her before. Does it ring a bell? It's back to the happy music. Oh, it's her! Intriguing! Baki, Misha, and Akron standing right next to each other is giving you... <laughs> anyway, thanks for Yeah. Bye. If you hadn't gotten here in time, whew, I would have been in a real mess. Thank you. I'm surprised we get to see each other again so soon. No need to thank me. It's the least I can do. I'm surprised too. About all the commotion just now? I heard a bunch of masked fools were causing a ruckus on the streets. I happened to be passing through, got stopped for questioning, and there were some misunderstandings along the way. Anyway, I owe you another one. Misunderstandings, eh? It's okay, we emotionally manipulated the gang boss and now he's crying, so we solved your conflict. I got you. I got you, Akaron. 
What do you mean? You use clockwork to raise the channel points, prices, and make chat sad? Hey, listen! Chat was making me sad, okay? Is this lady your friend, too? Yeah, we know everyone here. Well, we've only met each other once before. But she is a kind soul for helping me at the hotel. It's my pleasure to meet you, beautiful lady. Be beautiful lady? By the way, what did you do to that man earlier? It was like someone took him on an emotional roller coaster. We used the power of the protagonist to alter a few things. <laughs> I was wondering about that too. What happened back there exactly? Aki taught me some clockwork. Talk therapy, I used that on him. It's only natural for people to get intimidated by my baseball. What are you talking about? It wasn't the baseball bat, it was clockwork. They call me Galactic Baseballer for a reason. I don't think it's that simple. Could it have something to do with that, uh, Clocky that only you can see? Clocky? Yes, that cartoon character. I think he's shown up in reality, I mean, in the dreamscape. I don't really know how a cartoon character could show up around here. But according to our friend here, only honest people with childlike innocence can see him. Does that mean Firefly is not honest? Acheron's not honest? Is Misha honest, I guess, since Misha knows him? <sighs> it seems like I'm too old <laughs> to qualify for that. Sus. If Clocky really exists, that can explain a lot of things. Huh. Can you see me too? I can feel the presence of something inexplicable next to you. But it's a shame that I can't communicate with him like you can. We can both perceive these extraordinary things in the dream, probably due to our ability to react to memoria. But you're more attuned to it than I am. I mean, we did uh, instantly get shoved into a dream the moment we entered the area, so... <laughs> I thought your heightened perception was caused by something the elegant memo keeper might have left in your mind. Now it seems to me there are many more special beings like her in this dream. <gasps> Acheron called us special guys. She thinks we're one of a kind and unique and special to her, right? <laughs> not delusional and not at all. <laughs> the elegant memo keeper, who is she? Shortly after we parted, oh, oh, I red eye, red text. Spying eyes on me. I looked in the mirror and spotted a lady wearing a black veil. We had a deep conversation. But oh, I won't bore Black you Swan. With the details. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So Akron met Black Swan, and then she's the memoir. She's the memo keeper. It's a shame that I forgot to ask her for her name. I only know that she's from the Garden of Recollection. Garden of Recollection. <gasps> Is that the group that serves the Eon of Remembrance? Does that mean we get to see Black Swan soon? Exactly. They traverse freely between different worlds as mimetic entities and are only visible to certain people. Doesn't she sound very much like that Clocky you saw? <laughs> and the red text gives me foreshadowing vibe, yeah. The red text is very creepy. After all, it is a grand event held by the family. The guest list could be a lot longer than we imagined. Once again, thank you for being kind to me. I wish you a great time in the dream, and I shall not interrupt your date. Wait, she called it a date too. Wait, no, Acheron, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I know, I know, I want to go on a date with you. Please, please. We're not, no, it's fine. We're not on a date. Acheron, please, please. You can join us. We can do, we can have a three, three-way date, okay? It'll be, it'll be a blast. We're just having a good time, okay? <laughs> please, please. No, queen. Don't just. No, don't misinterpret my intentions. Not like this. <laughs> yeah, I mean, a love is the same type of <laughs> What do you mean? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not delusional. Okay, I'm not. I'm not. This is just. It's what the game is telling me. I'm just absorbing the information provided. <laughs> Acheron, I love you. Please. Acheron is jealous. I know. I'm sorry, Agarod. I didn't mean to. No, we're not on a date. See, we're not on a date. Fi we're, see, Firefly think, says we're not on a date, so we're not. We're not. Agarod, let's go on a date. You and me. <laughs> <laughs> <She's> <laughs> Why'd she smile? <laughs> Why'd she laugh well, like that? Shall we? 
I'll let you get back to your beeswax. Thanks, my great friend. I really appreciate your help. The Nameless are indeed a bunch of talented people. May our paths cross again. May our paths cross again. Tick tock. Tick tock. Please come with me. I hope that you won't be distracted by some invisible friend again. Oh. Well, now we can influence everyone's emotions. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? There's a chest right here. You go first, and I'll be right behind you. Wait. I wanted to. No, I wanted the chest first. No, I want the chest. Thank you. <laughs> I wanted the treasure before we go in. Oh. Her secret stronghold is a cafe? I mean, it is a cafe that you only get to through the pinball machine. So. Here we are. This is the place. It's not as easily accessible. This place looks mighty fine. Is this your secret stronghold? This place looks mighty fine. No, uh, it isn't. This is. Oh. Oh, wait, okay. What a beautiful manhole cover. Yes, it's right inside. Inside? What does that mean? You want me to crawl in there? Let me show you how to do it. It's going to be very dark at first, so you'll have to stay close to me. I mean, her secret hideouts huh? entrance is not very secret. I will not lie. Oh? Oh, look, it's Sparkle. Hey, let me ask you something. Who is she talking to? Us? Is following girls around like a lost puppy your way of getting their attention? You've been doing this for nearly half a system hour. To oh. be more precise, it's been 45 minutes. Time sure flies when you're having fun, doesn't it? The two most suspicious people in the story? Actually, no, Sampo's not here. We're just missing Sampo in this gathering, and then we'll have the three most suspicious characters in this entire story. <laughs> Ugh, spare me. Beautiful eyes, though. Are you from Sigonia? She's so short! <laughs> She's tiny! Look at her! <laughs> Need another hint? I'm an Avgen. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a honey? Honey? What is... What does that mean? Honey? Like my water? Sparkle got that Fushuan height, but the thing is... Fushuan is literally still taller. <laughs> Fushuan doesn't look as tiny as she does by a long shot. <laughs> my eyes might not be as pretty as yours, but there's no problem with my vision. You Sigonians are notorious throughout the entire universe. Liars. Thieves, social manipulators, <laughs> wolves in sheep's clothing. Damn, they have a huge rep sheet. They're really living up to the reputation. I say you belong to the space under the manhole cover. Not in a dream. There's one right over there. Off you go. Did Sparkle literally just tell him that he's a rat? So he belongs in the sewers? <laughs> That's what I'm getting from this. <laughs> I'll pass. The gloomy shade of a place like that just wouldn't go with my vibe. <laughs> would it go with Dreamville his vibe, guys? Oh my god. Vain you know, he has flashy. to find a place that has a really, that really good vibe. And then that is the only place that he will allow himself to deign to enter. <laughs> Red him? Oh my god. Why do you guys hate Avengers so much? <laughs> also, it never rains here. He's so fun. My outfit is too expensive to be exposed to the elements. Cut it out and go home, you slick talker. We are fools, but we aren't stupid. <laughs> we aren't interested in playing the friend game with the lapdogs of the IPC. Really? You've never been friends with anyone from the IPC? Why not? Why not? There's a first for everything. Do you think I know nothing about the history of Pinnacle? Don't drag me into your banal office politics. Oh, there's office politics too? Fool, you've been left with no choice since the moment you accepted the invitation to be here. You better pick a side while you Wait. have the chance. Or else you'll end up losing everything. So it's the IPC versus the family, I'm guessing, is kind of what's going on here. Because he said pick a side, which means there are two opposing factions. And it's not just a 
Okay, so this means that it's not just them fighting a, like, I guess, nightmare monster, right? There's actual opposing factions going on behind the scenes in Panacomi. The IPC is one of them, but I don't know what the opposing faction is. Maybe the family, but maybe something else? You sound very sure of yourself. Looks like you've already convinced that chicken wing boy from the family. Okay, so it's not the family. Because the family is also being convinced by the IPC. So who's the opposing faction? <laughs> and wait, did she really just call Sunday chicken wing boy? <laughs> is, that, is that who she's referring to? <laughs> Damn, what does that make so Robin? <laughs> chicken wing girl. <laughs> How did you do it, little peacock? Did you strip yourself naked, apologize to him on your knees, and promise that the IPC would never harm Panacone? Friends, oh please. You guys only treat others as your bargaining chips. That's true. <laughs> IPC is money first, humans second, so... You know, that's valid. Sparkle is laying down the law here, I will not lie. She's spitting some facts <laughs> and logic. Sparkle is so base, she's going all out. She She's not holding back at all. <laughs> oh, what's wrong with chips? In any gamble, the only players that will never be on the losing side are the chips. True. My friends from the Garden of Recollection and the Astral Express are all smart enough to understand that. But the smarter ones wouldn't have joined the game in the first place. See? I'm smarter. But didn't... <clears throat> but didn't Aventurine say that the moment you step into Panacone, you're, you're already in the game? So, there's something really big afoot. Something really big. What's going on? <laughs> Listen, little peacock. You've been invited by the tavern before, too. If you want the masked fools to get on board, you need to figure out what it is the laughter wants. Here's a hint for you. Since you can't convince anyone, why don't you find a rock to be friends with? At least a rock won't be able to refute your arguments. <laughs> She's so savage. <laughs> Dude just completely bodied him. <laughs> Sparkle has no fucking chill. What the hell did I just read? <laughs> she destroyed him. She pointed out all of the truth and facts and slandered him. But is it even slander if it's true? <laughs> The story is really interesting and full of secrets. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I've heard. And hello, James, 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 and Aya. How are you guys doing? Welcome in. <laughs> she just read the commandments to him. She read him his rights. So long. Thanks. I'll keep your advice in mind. Aventurine unbothered. <laughs> Never mind. He is bothered. Oh, because he was trying to recruit her, right? What a pain in the neck. I guess I'll have to meet with the family again. What is he up to? I have so many questions and yeah. zero answers. <gasps> Chest. Oh, this is inside her, her secret there? base, right? There's so many other people here. Dreams are supposed to be confusing. Wait, I wanted to Look, collect stuff. This place is breathtaking, isn't it? Oh, it's a different Guests building. Guests aren't allowed here, so we have to be careful not to get caught. Don't worry, this place isn't dangerous. Just, um, think of this as the border of Golden Hour. The family is still building and remodeling the dreamscape beyond here. It is a very nice view. If you look behind her... You can see so far in the distance. My secret stronghold is in this area. Let's sneak inside. Is to sneak inside our secret stronghold? Alright, let's go to... 
Firefly's base. <laughs> Excuse me, there's a construction site ahead. Unauthorized personnel are not allowed in. Oh, is this why she's after the bloodhounds are after her? Because she keeps trespassing, essentially. And the view makes it even prettier with sparkle. Yes, for sure. Un Drat, we're caught right away. Well, that's why you have to sneak in. Fine, we'll head back. Let me try. <laughs> Could you uh, please make an exception? We're not going to cause any trouble. Why? Why would he make an exception? Uh, not a chance. Our boss made it clear that only the dreamers are allowed here. Dreamweavers? What are Dreamweavers? He won't budge. We know Gallagher. Who? Eh, never heard of him. I wouldn't let you oh. in even if the Dream Master were here. Wait, so is Gallagher not one of the Bloodhound people? Was he lying? None of your tricks are going to work. Please do yourself and me a favor and go home. Is everyone in Penacony a liar? <laughs> Does no one... Is no one telling the truth about who they are? <sighs> Seems like you won't give in. Um, let me think of another way. Unless he's from a different branch, so then this guy just doesn't know him, but... Perhaps Clocky's clockwork trick can come in handy? <sighs> this doesn't count as malicious intent, When right? all else fails, a little bit of manipula... <laughs> when all else fails, a little bit of emotional manipulation never hurt. <laughs> This is fiction. This is fiction, so it's fine, guys, you know? Guess. None of your tricks are going to work. Please. Perhaps you need to provoke him a little bit. Okay, we need to make him angry. I'm sorry, dude. How many times do I have to repeat myself? Unauthorized I'm sorry, personnel bro. are not allowed at the construction site. You gotta do what you gotta do. Ah! Do you two really want to stay here and test my patience? You're going to regret it. It's okay. Let's square up. Let's fight. <laughs> You're asking for it. Oh, and I wouldn't be so cocky if I were you. I deal with punks like you all the time. You fear for nothing just because you're I feel so bad for this guy. Energetic. You <laughs> Bro was just doing his job and then we had to manipulate him to get what we want. <laughs> Stirring up trouble. You contribute nothing to society. True. I sit here and play games. That's factual. He called me out IRL as well. <laughs> Let me help you spoiled brats learn the hard way. Go, sweet dreams troop. Teach them a lesson. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna send the dogs at us. <clears throat> Lend me your strength. Okay, <laughs> goodbye. Existence is unity. Oh, damn. I bet Akron is lying too. I bet she really does know where the lobby is. <laughs> Everyone here is a master actor. City of dreams, more like city of drama. Because every person here is putting on an act. No one's showing their true face. Is there anyone you trust? My besties of the <laughs> Express. Is this... Is this the power of you? And I guess I also trust Misha because Misha is a child. <laughs> Like, how malicious could the child's intentions be, you know? <laughs> if I'd had that power back then, wh would we have ended up differently, Mia? Oh. <sighs> All right. Uh, you can go in. As the winner here, you deserve it. Wh why did he start reminiscing on the past? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to bring up some hard memories for you, dude. I just wanted to go into the construction site. <laughs> First I beat him up, and then now he has recollections of painful memories. Dude, I'm a terrible person! <laughs> no! Oh, oh, I'm sorry, Seems guys. Like he's taking this winning and losing thing a little too seriously. <laughs> well, at least we finally get to go through. That's awkward. I thought Misha was a girl. I think most people thought Misha was a girl. <laughs> Never imagined that's how we'd end up getting past the guard. <laughs> that trick of Clocky's really is amazing. That is what people like to call Misha is what people like to call a trap. Oh, he's broken. Do I have to attack him? I don't want to. He's just chilling, you know? 
There's a clockwork quest that is related to the Genius Society. In It'll probably flame. affect five star hurdles if we get one. Oh, interesting, interesting. Blade yeah, maybe we'll go do that later. I really like the, you know, the battle map we shall take back with the hotel lost. entrance in the, not the hotel entrance, but the building entrance in the background. It's really funky. The path ends here. For the rest of the way, we need to borrow the dreamer's tools. The atmosphere of this entire place what is happens next very is nice. going to blow your mind. We're going to see some optical illusions. Whoa. Activating it allows you to see the Dreamweaver's view. So this is kind of like the puzzle, but then in reality, I guess. With our characters now. Different points in space are Whoa. linked together? This is so trippy. Now we can go to the other side. This is how the Nightingale family repairs the dreamscape. Fascinating, isn't it? It's so weird. Oh? Give us a dream bird. Okay. Let's head to the next area. We can use the building materials that are floating around in the air. Okay. Interacting with this highlights the corresponding dream modules and their trajectory. Use interactive operations to rotate. Oh. Okay. These are just platforms. Very nice. Ooh, this is a cool shop. See, I actually love this aesthetic of shop. You know, the older, more rustic shop fronts with their really, really nice uh, window displays. <laughs> I miss it. I miss it when all stores look like this. <laughs> There's a few streets uh, in the city I live in what, that have these kind of older looking shops and stuff. So... <laughs> It always, it always just feels so nice to be able to, like, when you go past them. It's, and it's different from all of the more modern, you know, concrete, cement, just plainer, I guess, <laughs> shop fronts and windows, you know? Oh, oh. Oh, true, we need to bring the platform back. <laughs> okay. I got it. It's like stepping on planks, floating on water. Let's go that way. All right. We have no Lending choice but to strength. engage in combat here. The dead return. Who would you think the most hottest woman in Star Rail? Huh. Just asking. Eternal. Stell. <laughs> Female trailblazer. <laughs> is my Oshi. <laughs> I I'm a Stell stan. But apart from Stell, I also think Jing Lu is really really cool. I also really like Akron. <laughs> Do not concern yourself. I like characters outcome. that are badass. <laughs> so yeah, probably Stell and then Dinglu Akron would be my choices if I had to pick. Is that a dude standing in the distance? Whoa, is that someone who's gonna move later? Interesting. Oh, this is that. Oh, this is this puzzle. Okay. Ha ha! <laughs> Mere worldly possessions. All right. Well, I think we can't go that way, so we have to go this way. We can get to the rooftop of the opposite building from here, but it requires a device. I remember it's hidden here. Oh, well, we can't just walk here? What's over here? Oh, it's the extra chest. <laughs> Wait, is this a dinosaur? Is that a dinosaur chef? <laughs> Wait, guys, this monster looks so fun. Look at him. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> Wait, I really like that design. That's so adorable. <laughs> I wonder what its mechanics are, but... <laughs> but it's cute. Poor Dino Chef can't cook with short arms. Yeah, it's from Meet the Robinsons. 
I got a big head, a little arms. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's tons of stuff, side puzzles. Mm -hmm. But yeah, the side puzzles in Pentaconi actually are really fun. Because they're all really different and have a, they're more intricate than the puzzles from the other regions. Because the other puzzles are obviously they're just like a, oh like you know like fix some gears or just uh, fix the cube. They're like individual puzzles. Whereas the puzzles in this region are super interactive. Let's go to the hideout. Look, that's the Pentaconi Grand Theater over there. Oh wait, are we supposed to... Wait, but there's a thing over here too. It radiates dazzling light perpetually. Just like this glamorous dream. Yeah? But oh, so people, I guess, they don't fall asleep in here, right? Because I was about to say, if it's so bright inside the dream <laughs> at all times, then how do people ever fall asleep? But I guess they technically are asleep, right? Because you're within the dreamscape. I suppose everyone who likes to bask in the light will be drawn to that kind of warmth. My countless fireflies chasing the fire. Hmm. Hmm. Firefly used a firefly analogy. Let's go. Half the journey is still ahead of us. <laughs> okay. Let's go see your secret base, bestie. This one is a little bit complicated. Hmm. I have to put on my thinking cap. Did H try the dream caller? Mm -hmm. I did the silver wolf one, but I didn't do the other ones yet because I wanted to play through the story first. But yeah, the call, the call, dream call things are really cute. <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh. This is so bizarre. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually wild. Oh wait, there's another... Wait, there's another platform on the left. I want to see where that goes. Okay, I need to not look at the screen when it is zooming in and out. I wonder whether I can... Okay. Yeah, I want the chest first. Very nice! Okay! Let's go. Honey Cody is pretty cool so far. Yeah, it is! I've been really, really enjoying it. The family recruited many artists architects and scholars from across the universe to form oh, this the courtyard team of dreamers that built the dream of Pentaconi. These areas are not developed yet, so guests don't come here. I mean, let her finish talking. It's not as lively as the town center here, but I relish the serene atmosphere. Oh, it, it's a chest. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. Oh. The optical illusions are so creative. There's so many chests. Let's go. All right. Let's go to the base. Oh yeah, I'm going to like look away from the screen whenever it zooms out cuz it makes me a little bit it's making my head a little bit <laughs> not great. <laughs> we moved from that building to this building in the blink of an eye. <laughs> this would be impossible in reality. Yeah, it definitely would be. It's the same routine. You've mastered it, right? Oh, there's people here too. I guess they would be Dreamweavers. Find the scattered pieces. Oh, okay. Oh, is this guy okay? What exactly went wrong? Oh, they have a metal bus like Dr. Ratio. Dr. Ratio's is obviously plaster, but... Intriguing. <laughs> is it because I've gone for too long without drinking so glad? Or because I've been working overtime for two months? Why don't I have any inspiration today? You seem distressed. Can I have the puzzle piece? Give yourself a break, mate. Uh, who's there? Why are there guests here? Y you know what? I don't care how you snuck in. Just leave me alone. If 
you prevent me from finishing my work on time, I'm going to make you pay for it. All right, dude, I was just trying to help out. Chill. Make him uplift him? Oh, this person's emo gear. <laughs> guys, guys, where did their emo gear go? <laughs> You obtain the required gear using emotion absorption? Oh, Absorb emotions. Oh, we have to absorb their emotions and then give it to the other guy. Oh, okay, I see, I see. We can't just gift him. We need to have the happiness to give him to begin with. What exactly? <laughs> Unlock the emo dial. <laughs> ah, I got it! What a brilliant idea it is! I must write it down on paper while it's fresh in my mind! <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm sure I'll forget all the details when I wake up from sleep. Uh, there's no better time than now to put it to action. He wandered off, but he left behind the puzzle piece. Litty. We got one stellar jade from that? Okay. Hey, one jade's better than no jade. I'll take it. <laughs> oh, guys, wait, look at this view. This view is so nice. Wow, okay, wait, I need- <laughs> I want to take a picture. I don't normally take pictures in Genshin- or not Genshin in Star Rail, but... It's so nice. <laughs> One second. <laughs> hey, let's go. <laughs> it's too pretty. I had to. I had to. This place is really complicated. It gives me a headache every time I pass through. Not only do we have to activate the dream's eye, but we also have to close it a couple of times to get through. Yeah, I wish I could maybe get rid of the blur at the edges. I think that's what's starting to make me a little bit motion sick. <laughs> but it's fine. Hopefully this part doesn't last too, too much longer. The time in golden hour never goes forth. The sunset slash rise is eternal. Yeah, that's why it's golden hour. And let's continue. That was that was kind of hard. There won't be too many hindrances after this. These puzzles are actually a little bit confusing, I won't lie. But hey, it's, it's nice that there's a bit of a challenge. Um, this area wasn't guarded the last time I was here. Uh, half my frequent comings and goings started drawing attention. Possibly. The way Firefly the is way. the best character. I slam agree on that one. <laughs> she is. Oh. Oh, he's such a sweetheart, honestly. Someone's singing? Where is the sound coming from? I don't know, but I'm getting this chest first. The music's pretty. I don't hear the singing, I won't lie, but the music's really nice. Oh, this is an even better view, guys. Have you heard of this song? It's called If I Can Stop One Heart From Breaking by Robin. Her songs are played in the dreamland from time to time as the Charmony Festival is drawing close. I want to hear Robin sing. I hope they give us one of her singles. That will be so nice. This spot is the Wait, closest I can hear it. place to the sky in the dreamscape. It's far away from the hustle and bustle of the city and free from the bickering among the dreamers. That shot was so pretty. You can feel the moment. The scenery. The people and the dreams. Without being disturbed by anyone. It is really nice here. How beautiful. Oh! <laughs> Guys, time is Guys. frozen at this golden hour. So pretty. This golden dream shared by the fool from the so tavern pretty. and the memo keeper from the Garden of Recollection, the uh. wandering ranger and the IPC ambassador, the Astral Express Nameless. She's so yeah. me. My heart, bro. Firefly, stop. You're making me emotional. <laughs> All 
I want to hear the song in its full entirety later. Everyone falls asleep here equally. Regardless of our different agendas. Yeah, regardless of the very many agendas that exist in Penacone. <laughs> Every individual has a different one. I'm sorry. I really am still away. Aww. I know, I never saw that coming! <laughs> Who'd have thought, y'all? <laughs> I think it's only right to tell you. This song's so pretty! Stop. This song's making me emotional. <laughs> it was probably the doing of the Legion or the Swarm, but... I'm an interstellar and refugee. And her voice is even cracking up while she says it. Just like many of the Penacone locals. Okay, this is where you come for your dreams to come true, y'all. The Harmony accepts everyone, including wanderers from afar. The family takes them in, but they don't... They don't belong here. It's okay, you don't belong here because you belong in my heart. <gasps> <laughs> in this splendid metropolis, some have a dream called Penacone, but some have dreams that, that are no different from reality. Even though everyone who comes here harbors the same motive in the beginning. In the beginning? In the beginning? Does that mean that motives change and then sus stuff happens? And it's likewise for me. I have a wish I want to achieve so badly in the real world. Guys, look at her. Bro. But I can't. So. You can't achieve it so badly in the real world? Is it because. I want to give it a shot here. Is it because you don't exist in the real world, Firefly? I'm still subscribing to this theory. I think she only exists in the dreamscape. I know the feel. What's your wish? Entropy loss syndrome. Have you heard of this term? No. <laughs> I have heard of what was it called again? Uh, from <laughs> from Genshin. What was it the depression? <laughs> there was what was what was the syndrome called again from that one event? I I can't remember, but it was essentially. It was a really funny name. <laughs> Although the kid. Don't forget to screenshot. Don't forget to screenshot. Oh god, okay. That means we have to turn off the text. Oh my gosh, guys, give me one second. Here, we'll turn off these for now, so all I have to do is do one. <laughs> and Red Rupture, welcome in. How's it going? How's it going? Loneliness syndrome. Yeah, the loneliness syndrome. <laughs> I still find that really funny how it's literally just called that. <laughs> the catch could never <laughs> Too soon, too soon. <laughs> the scars are too fresh, CS. <laughs> it's a strange condition. Okay, okay. Let's see. Those suffering from it will experience an irreversible chronic dissociation oh, okay. of their physical structure. This means they will slowly fade away. And the process is barely noticeable to others. Oh, okay. So basically, she is an actual person from reality, but then because she has the syndrome where she'll basically like disappear, she can only live on in the dream, I guess. Because in reality, she'll die. So then the only way she could keep living is by existing within the dreamscape. I think that's what's going on here. You can still run, jump, and oh, talk. It's so as pretty, usual. guys. Everything seems normal. But then you'll start doing everything slightly slower than others. That's so sad. Hey, at least, okay, at least Penacone exists. Because if you had the syndrome and Penacone didn't exist, then you're just goodbye. There's nothing to be done about it. But here, at least you get a chance to live on, right? It could be worse. It could be worse. And then... Even her eyes. Until 
The lines between your body and the entire world become blurry. So how could I possibly resist it? I mean, can you imagine? I can actually free myself from this icy medical cabin in this dream. You know what this reminds me of? <laughs> Maybe because it's a bit more of a recent series, but you know, um... Oshinoko. <laughs> You know, that's who Firefly reminds me of. Uh, she reminds me of Ruby from Oshinoko. Because she was, uh, I mean, I don't think this is really a spoiler. It's just a bit of the backstory. But she was basically bedridden and then couldn't, you know, live her dream of becoming an idol. But then because she got reborn, she was able to actually live a second life and really get to actually just live, live her life. Stop. This is so, this is so evil. <laughs> no. I'm getting emotional. <laughs> this, the music's definitely not helping, okay? Like, for me, the biggest thing is I actually cry pretty easily when it comes to watching stories or reading stories. But the thing that gets me the most is whenever they're doing the emotional stuff while playing sad music in the background. <laughs> It's just like literally my kryptonite. I can't, I can't, it's too much. I can forget about all the doctor's advice. I can listen and see and touch and think and understand whatever I want with my body. So although this world isn't real, this experience is priceless. <laughs> Girl! <laughs> the voice acting is also really well done. <laughs> I feel like she's actually, like, it's actually her. Just like this moment. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to, you don't have to be. Look at her. Look at her. She's so pretty, and then there's even the stars in the background. Yeah, why is th this entire scene has just been food, a feast for the eyes? Like, genuinely. I'm sorry. For certain reasons, there are things I can't reveal to you yet. But there are also things you should know. I am. In fact, after the Watchmaker's legacy. But that doesn't mean we have to go our separate ways and be enemies. But at least... I really hope things don't turn out that way. It's okay, we'll be star-crossed lovers, Firefly. <laughs> we'll be like Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> enemies, but... <laughs> but connected at the heart. <laughs> I hope so too. I can't make any promises, but it's okay. Thanks. In my dream, I saw a scorched earth. Scorched earth? And a Bruh. New sapling <laughs> emerging from it. It bloomed against the morning sun. <laughs> the little and bird it whispered to me. It's just chilling here. remember the question on the invitation letter why does life slumber okay but who sent all of these invites they feel like they personalized the invite to every single person that has come to Penacone because they asked uh, the uh, the expresses one was pretty specific and then this one is about like why does life slumber to firefly that's because that's different from what the express got right I think is possible in this land of dreams. Oh, it's so pretty. The nightmarish past will disperse and fade away like bubbles in water, and the future that you don't want to face will never come. Bruh. 
You know what? I subscribe to it. You know how earlier I said, oh, I wouldn't want to live in a dream because it's not reality and there's no point in just basically getting everything that you want. Nah, we'll stay in this dream with you, Firefly girl. Girl, we'll stay here forever. Dreams <laughs> rock. Let's go. Let's go. Unless you live your life unburdened by the shackles that have been placed upon you by your body in reality. You're... It's fine. This is, this is the ideal situation. We love Penacone. We love to see it. Hell Why yeah, Firefly. To sleep? We're not waking up from this I one, boys. It's because they're afraid to wake up from the dream. I'm sorry. Things are getting all bleak and serious. Uh, let me see what I can do to lighten the mood. I mean, don't you have a lot of friends on the Astral Express? What would you guys do if something like this happened? Well, we'd probably have the person come to Patagonia as well, to be honest. <laughs> Same situation, most likely. Pom Pom would cool us down with the water from a spray can. Oh, she's talking about like bringing the mood down. Okay. Dan Hung would tell us dry jokes with a deadpan expression. <laughs> Yumiko would try to make coffee for us. Marge would force us to take a selfie with her. I think Yumiko making coffee is probably the the one I would prefer the most because it's just a bit like, okay, you know, you've had a bleak, sad moment. Just like have something warm and something comforting to to just cheer you up a little bit, you know? <laughs> take a selfie. You guys want to take a selfie? <laughs> I mean, I can take a selfie. Selfie. All right. Selfie. Hmm. You're right. I mean, I've been here so many times. Why didn't I think of taking a photo? Okay. I feel a little awkward taking it by oh, myself. Oh, that's why you wanted me to choose selfie. Would you like to join me? All right, all right. Let's come. Up. Oh, sorry. Sure. I can be a little bit camera shy. <laughs> Just don't laugh at me. Here, you hold the camera. All right, guys, come get your screenshots. The girl hands the phone to you. Her eyes filled with expectation. You take the photo, launch the camera app, and switch to the front-facing camera effortlessly. Then, extending your arm, you hold the phone at a distance, ensuring both of you are captured in the frame. Wait, let me get ready! I'm good. Let's do this. One... Two... Say cheese! Stella, oh shit! Oh shit! I forgot to take a screenshot! No! 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 I was too absorbed in it! No! Oh! I didn't get a screenshot, guys! Shit! No! I was like so ready and then I. I fumbled. I fumbled, guys. I'm so sorry. Can, can we rewind? <laughs> I was too mesmerized, but when I saw it in front of me, it's okay, guys. Guys, let me. I'll go find. I'll go find you guys a, a different script. Actually, I don't want to look it up right now, but I'll get you guys the screenshot later. I promise. <laughs> I Oh, damn. I'm sorry, guys. I actually fumbled that so hard. I just, I just like, listen, Stell and Firefly, they appeared in front of my eyes, and I just couldn't, I couldn't help. I couldn't help it. Like, you know, sometimes when you're faced with beauty, you get struck. And you can't move, and you can't do anything. And that's what just happened. <laughs> Warning and everything, and she still fell alone. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I'll get you guys a screenshot and I'll send it on Discord after, okay? <laughs> uh, man, man. I feel so bad. I feel bad, guys. I'm really sorry. <clears throat> Maybe if you reset game, the cutscene will reset. Actually, don't do that. I might skip the cutscene. <laughs> yeah, maybe. 
It's okay. I'll find the screenshot from elsewhere. I'm sure someone's posted it on Twitter, right? <laughs> I'm sure we can find one out from a different source. <laughs> I can post like their pictures on Reddit. Exactly. There. It's okay. It's okay. We might not have gotten the screenshot firsthand, but you can still get it from elsewhere. Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> I fumbled, but others didn't. That is the moral of the story. <laughs> it's okay, it's a precious moment. It was! Just, you know, just seeing them. And then with the scenery and the lighting and then the, even the little shooting star in the background. It was just a beautiful moment. So I, I, got, I got really absorbed and immersed in it. <laughs> that was really nice. Are we all having fun? Lots of fun, sure. But something feels off. It doesn't feel very real. It's odd. I can't describe it. Yeah, we're in a dream after all. But March has a- March's danger senses are tingling. I saw a guy wearing a plaster. Oh, so March saw Dr. Ratio. I saw a guy wearing a plaster head sculptor at the auction and he walked off without doing anything. That's pretty suspicious. I also had some unpleasant discoveries. It's a bit complicated. It's best if we meet up face to face. Me too. Looks like a trip back to reality is overdue. Let's meet up in my room. How do we go back to reality Do you though? have to go back already? <laughs> Time really flies. I feel like going back to reality and resting too. Come on. Let's say goodbye golden hour. So does this mean we get to meet Firefly in reality as well? I know she's probably going to be pretty sickly, but... Okay, I'll deal with this puzzle later. <laughs> I'll deal with that at another time. Let's go back to Golden Hour. But what if Firefly in reality doesn't actually look like the Firefly if we know? there's nothing pressing, let's take a walk. Because there's no guarantee that everyone looks the same when they enter the dreamscape, because... Like, like, for example, I think I'm still of the firm belief that someone's pretending to be Sampo. So I feel like there probably is a way to manipulate your appearance when you enter the dream. And so there maybe Maybe Firefly looks different? I don't know though. But I just wanna I just wanna meet her in reality. Is she in the hotel as well? Is that how it works? She has to be in the hotel, right? Come to think of it. I wonder if I have to go to the hotel to return to reality. True. Oh, because we Strange. do have to go through the... Where's everyone gone? We do have to go through to the, um... Path. Wait, but yeah, where's where are all the people? That's so foreboding. Oh, that's kind of scary. Dude, I don't know about you guys, but I feel like my biggest fear... I, I've said this before on stream, but for everyone who's new, I feel like my biggest fear is being totally and utterly alone. Like, not just- not like- not just being lonely, okay? But straight up, like, in the very impossible scenario in which I am the only person in existence, like, on the planet, right? That kind of loneliness is terrifying to me. Because, I don't know, I just like, I imagine it and I'm just horrified. <laughs> if that were to ever happen to me, I don't know. I don't know, bro. That, I feel like that's the, that type of crippling loneliness is probably my biggest fear. So that was really creepy, but hey, at least Sampo's still here. Or fake Sampo, if he's real or not. <laughs> Sampo, is that guy up to no good again? Wait, why is my screen glitching? Is that part of the game? It's only happening when I'm over here, right? Or is it is it is it is only glitching when it happen when I come over here on the on the left part of the screen. There's a little black box, but it only happens when I walk onto this platform. I think. Oh god, that's creepy. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So shall we go on? But wait, yeah. Is this like the? Is this gonna go into something really big? Cause I do kind of like it's. It's still so early. I still want to keep playing. <laughs> but I'm scared. What if I have to stop in the middle of the next part? Oh, I did not mean to shoot you, sample. My bad. <laughs> but, but I want to keep going. Yes, something big. Okay, something big's gonna happen after this. Well, okay. No, we have to. We'll play it. We'll have to play some more. If I have to stop in the middle of the next part, then that's so be it. Okay, I'm going. 
I need we to know. Meet again, my dear. I don't think this is Sampo, guys, okay? For everyone who just joined, I am of the firm belief that this is not truly the Sampo that we know because he fumbled so hard upon our first meeting. He did not recognize March 7th, which means I think that's just the biggest red flag that there is, even bigger than Aventurine, okay? That's not me coping. That's not me coping about I feel really liking Aventurine, but I think this guy is definitely not who he is presenting himself to be. <laughs> It looks like you have not taken my warnings to heart. A pity. Are you so enchanted by that girl? Oh, uh, hey, don't don't you dare besmirch my girl like that. Firefly just she bore her heart to us, okay? <laughs> you don't inter you don't get to slander her like that, fake sample. <laughs> You're just so blind. Well, we are in a dream after all. Careful. I'm more than certain now that this friend of yours is dangerous. Oh, they're squaring off. <laughs> they're fighting. They're fighting for my affection. <laughs> oh, this brave little girl appears to be protecting you. I wonder why. Are you two that close? Hi, Key Sampo. Okay, you are so much more sus than Firefly. <laughs> oh my god. You talk too much. Okay. Oh, she just has some cutting I words. I love your attitude, my dear. I have to admit, you're different from your friend here. Your senses are much sharper. Listen, I just came to this world and then got thrown into like 10 billion dreams and have people just talking to me with really cryptic messages. How the hell am I supposed to know what's going on, huh? You guys all clearly seem to know information about what is happening here. And all, I, all I've been given is riddles. Like I need to pass some test. <laughs> Even so, you are lagging far behind the main party. Have you not noticed yet what the family is hiding? The secret behind this sweet dream? No, but I want to know. And as for you, the trailblazer who saved the ice world, I wonder how much others might have embellished Sempo's story when recounting the happenings on Yorello 6. Oh, they're okay, so they are exposing themselves. Oh, well, it was my problem for trusting him. Okay, so they're exposing themselves right here. So they're essentially saying that, oh, yeah, I talked to Sampos and I'm building my persona off of his stories. Okay, well, the mask is about to come off. Is it Sparkle like I thought? Because I know Sparkle is one of the masked fools. I'm really, really disappointed. But we saw Sparkle earlier. So that means Sparkle is not wearing the skin. Oh, oh, it is Sparkle. Um, excuse me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wait, why do you why look like you that? Rest for a little while? It is, sir. Dude. Inside the real dreamscape. Oh! <gasps> Whoa. I thought you said you weren't getting involved, Sparkle. This is you getting involved. You liar. Feet? Why is she gonna- is she- I know a lot of people enjoyed that shot. <laughs> this... What is this place? Uh, the real dreamscape. Weren't you paying attention, Age? <laughs> oh, it's all twisted. I'm back at the hotel? No, this feeling. The surroundings look a little like I just entered a dream. Correct. Oh, where are we? But we still should be able to see our messages here, right? Looks like a trip back to reality is overdue. Let's meet up in my room. I've run into a little of trouble. <laughs> a little bit of a predicament. Oh! Oh shit, bro. Our texts don't work. We're cut off. Can't get in touch with... That's a yikes! Guys, look, it's owls. Mikhail? Wait! Isn't this a... Uh... We heard this. We heard this before when we first uh, went into the dream. When we first entered the Penacone dreamscape, not the the golden hour, we saw we're looking at the ceiling and then we saw some flashes of different shots and then someone was calling for Mikhail. I remember that. Okay. Let's see. Let's investigate everything. Is there anything anything triggered? Oh, this one. 
The dial on the counter is stirred into life. Its needle starts to spin quickly as if it is about to take you to a distant moment in the past. Why? Why has it come to this? Calm down. It's just me left now. I have to complete the instructions he left behind. I have to do it. But how do I do it? How can I possibly complete it? Okay, this, yeah, this clock was... I don't know what's going on. I won't lie. Is there no one who can help me? Oh, is this the person? Is this that Mikhail person? Grandpa's work? Grandpa! Oh, so... Grandpa's work. Okay. So, okay. I have a theory. I have a theory. I think Mikhail, this Mikhail individual, is the grandson of the clock or the watchmaker. The person who founded Penacony and turned dreams into reality. And I think that perhaps when TikTok. like in order for him to be able to run the Penacony, like the whatever technology is used to create dreams and harness the memory memoria that the, the thing I think maybe grandpa had to do some <laughs> up shit to his grandson <laughs> Like, maybe, maybe he's trapped and maybe the entire D of Penacone is running on his dream or something like that. I'm not too sure exactly the specifics, but the fact that they gave us grandpa's- They're introducing this, uh, character. They're introducing a character who is the grandson of the Watchmaker. Who is this very mysterious, important figure. It seems like there is something suspicious afoot. Because I think um, what we are currently experiencing right now is probably that child's dream, the grandson. Because obviously it says, oh, like the workshop, the workshop isn't locked. Oh, these are grandpa's notes. So I think that's what's going on right now. I don't know the specifics, obviously, but I think Firefly. that is my theory. Wait, why is F Firefly is here? She joined us? Huh. So you're really here too? Oh, okay, so she sent us both, both here. Don't tell me we're dead. I... don't know. In any case, we must still be in a dream. I can't be anywhere else, much less reality. I'm never wrong about the distinctive sense of memoria that's in the air. Oh, we're definitely in a dream, Firefly. Don't worry about that. <laughs> you know, if the floating whales didn't give it away, I think the... <laughs> the fact that we just appeared here out of nowhere <laughs> does. But this is... Very different from the sweet dream that I'm familiar with. It's suffocating, silent, uneasy. And these floating words, can you see them too? This kind of place would never exist. Oh, so the words are literally the floating. They're not the just for us, so the audience. Could this be a dream bubble? No, that's not Intriguing. Right. Do you remember, before we were unconscious, that friend of yours said the real dreamscape so this is probably the layer beneath all of the glitz and glam this is the family secret i'm not sure everything happened so quickly but regardless the family must be hiding something yeah something about the truth of the dream i think that's a no shit sherlock moment <laughs> yeah the family's definitely hiding something <laughs> i think everyone in pentacone is hiding something but and you something there, something you woke up as suspicious well. is afoot. The ticking of clocks all around us. <sighs> My gut tells me that the secret hidden here is also linked to the mysterious watchmaker. If it points us towards the watchmaker's legacy, it will be connected to everyone who has melded to Penacone's dream. Yeah, because I think the watchmaker, the watchmaker is the root of it, right? Yeah, I feel like this might be genuinely a situation where it's kind of like maybe some there is one per person from the past kind of powering everything so they're kind of stuck in this eternal state of being trapped. <laughs> I'm just the I'm just theory posting right now. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Let's go. We have to move. Be it to find an exit or the truth. We'll find out as I go. <laughs> 
So Firefly took care of that monster is what you're telling me. Will this attack me? It will. All right. <laughs> Lend me your strength. Oh wait, these are nightmare creatures. To guard and Crush them. Because this is the same Eternal. map as when they showed us that nightmare boss. All will be swept away by the wind. <laughs> That's me metagaming. <laughs> is this a beetle? Okay. Strange. Just looking at the stuff on the wall. Okay, oh, okay. Um... Are you done hiding? Here. Let's take the way around from the side. Whoa, that's trippy. I'm guessing there's a way for us to fix that after. Hide and seek in mysterious situations like this is always so creepy. <laughs> Given the layout of the room, are they really suggesting we maneuver around using the walls? Bubble charge? Oh, we need this to walk on the walls, okay. Uh, you can construct a bridge? Oh. Can't believe that worked. Tampering with the dreamscape's gravity is clearly Mikhail? strictly forbidden. Mikhail's the child, yeah, Careful. so- There are some strange things on the wall. And they don't look like they're from the Dream Jolt troop. Don't worry, I'll be fine. My units are broken. <laughs> We're chilling, Firefly. <laughs> but, so Mikhail is the grandson of the Watchmaker, it seems. R. Okay. Mikhail. We can finish that after. Alrighty. Interacting with the bubble tower again will consume the bubble charges. Oh, so I probably- do I want to go back and get the bridge? Nah, I'll do it later. <laughs> we can come back later and do that. Okay. Where could you be? Where are you? Where could you be? Well, that looks like an important door, I won't lie. Oh, will this stop it? Okay, slay. Very nice. Yeah, I mean, you know, the mo the monsters do get stronger, so... These are nice trinkets, but oh. nothing more. Why do we keep getting all of Duke Inferno's stuff? Alright. The big important door. It's here. Let's continue onwards into this, uh, dream. This is too... Ooh. Overwhelming. This is pretty. Oh no, more walls. The exit is on the other side? How are we going to cross over? Honestly? So you see over there, you see the red door with the, the, the guy standing, probably holding the puzzle. Whenever I see the characters holding the puzzles, like the puzzle puzzle, they honestly look so creepy. <laughs> They're kind of, they kind of exude Slenderman energy. <laughs> So when I see them in the distance, I don't really want to go near them. I won't lie. <laughs> they look like Slenderman. They do. They do. Don't they? Everything in Pentaconi is creepy. It kind of is. <laughs> Wait, what's over here? I feel, I'm smelling a chest. Oh, it's the guy. Oh, well, let's complete this first, I guess. Since we're here, we'll get rid of the scary dude. <laughs> I sniffed out the chest. Let's go. <laughs> Mere worldly possessions. Okay. Let's go over. Oh. You know what? We'll take care of him. <laughs> the enemies walk with so much swag. <laughs> yeah, it goes like this. <laughs> it's actually kind of cute. I won't Do not lie. Concern yourself with the outcome. Mikhail, I found you. Who has found her? I could totally jump over this. Oh, true. Hawkeye Star World characters can't jump. <laughs> it's just canonically they are not able to. <laughs> Ooh, this is cool. Do you, do you have something to tell me? <laughs> Mikhail. What is wrong, Mikhail? These trifles are of no use to me. 
Oh, this is trippy. Wow. It's beautiful. What's beautiful? This fountain. Okay, that's confusing. That makes me dizzy. <laughs> Trying to comprehend Incredible. how the map works. This from is here. really a sight that can only be witnessed in a dream. <laughs> makes me a little dizzy. I, I won't do that. <laughs> Incredible. This is really a sight that can be only be witnessed in a dream. These words have been appearing and then vanishing persistently for a while now. Whose thoughts are they? And who is this Mikhail? Open the map? Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll try to open the map after this, if it allows me. <laughs> it kind of scares me. There's a sadness to this. Where have I heard this name? It's like I can feel emotions contained within them. Confusion. Fear. Sadness. And others so faint I can barely feel them. Yeah, I'm sure there was a lot of people involved in what went on in the past. Unyielding resolve in the face of death. In the face of death? Who's death? What is a map? Oh my goodness! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Wait, this is so cool! Oh! Oh, that's actually... <laughs> so trippy! I didn't- I was- yeah, I was wondering how they were gonna do the maps because obviously everything here is 3D, right? So I get- they all- they made a 3D map! Wow, that's problem solving 101! <laughs> Yeah, I don't think I really want to look at that too closely either, because I think it'll also make me most sick. Just a smidge. I'll come back for that chest later. Oh. 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 Kale, you, you look like you've got something on your mind. Oh wait, so now we're on the ceiling. <laughs> this map is so trippy. <laughs> So is that Mikhail's mother who was speaking? Or what if Mikhail is the watchmaker? Because Mikhail could also be the watchmaker himself when he was younger. So then there was something that he was really fixated and obsessed with. But obviously his obsession turned into something really dark. Oh, whoops. Yikers. All right, I'll fight you since you won't back off. I'll Lend do it. Strength. My completionist Moody already got the chest of puzzles. This defend. room was so frustrating. Yeah, for sure. Because you have to kind of, the way you navigate it is really different from normally. Blade of moonlight. It's probably kind of hard to get to the right spot. Eternal. <laughs> You have to plan like a 3D path <laughs> through the map. <laughs> Lend me your strength. Don't look at it, you'll get dizzy trying to navigate it yourself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna look too closely at the ceilings and walls because I think it will make me motion sick. All will be swept away by the wind. Okay, I get it, I get it though. Because I know like people were saying like, oh yeah, the new area made me motion sick. <laughs> I can understand why. <laughs> Cause I don't usually get bad motion sickness. I, I can play most games. But Receive sometimes it does, uh, <laughs> it does hit a bit and make me a little bit dizzy. Age, you can just freeze them and not fight to save time. True. True. You're so right. But you see, Holmes, that is an intelligent decision. <laughs> I, myself, am personally a dumbass. <laughs> so, I pick the hardest path ever. All right, I'll do the puzzle real quick. <laughs> These puzzles don't take too long, so. And I also just kind of want to get rid of the guy from my map because I find him creepy. <laughs> so I want him to disappear. <laughs> I won't lie. I want to complete the puzzle so I don't have to see Slender Man in the distance. <laughs>
Wait. It sounds like the girl is the one who's now trapped. And Mikhail is the one who is kind of blocking her off. The moon shines on the truth. Interesting. Where has Mikhail gone? Tell your brain to get good? Honestly, I wish I could. <laughs> if I could train myself to not get as motion sick, I guess I kind of can. Because, for example, when I don't play games that are super, I guess, have better, bigger graphics with like in the world for a long time, the moment I go back to it, it makes me a bit dizzy. But then if I've been playing them actively, I'm fine. For example, when I go back to playing Genshin, after a long period of time of not playing Genshin, it makes me a little bit dizzy just because there's so much visual input. But I can. But then after like I get used Danger. to it, my brain is fine whenever I play Genshin. So I guess that is kind of training it in a sense. But I don't know how to do it consistently. <laughs> okay, let's get this. These Stop the bridge. No use to Make me. it easier. I need the bubble tower. Oh no. Yeah, so okay, I thought Mikhail was the one who was trapped, but it looks like this girl who's speaking is the one who was trapped instead. Very interesting. Icy fountain of memory. Ominous. These are nice trinkets, but nothing more. Okay. So strange. The family insists that the dreamscape is absolutely safe. Well, yeah, it's their entire business. <laughs> they have to ensure that it's safe for people to want to go in it, right? These red doors? There's nothing but a jigsaw puzzle These here. red doors are so scary. So scary. Like, the color is just ominous as hell. <laughs> What's over here? Some more chests. The moon shines on the truth. I just want to collect everything. Don't mind me. How long do they stay frozen for? The moon shines. Oh, I don't. Oh, true. I can just stand near them, and it keeps breaking them. <laughs> Get wrecked. <laughs> Jing Lu is OP. <laughs> Okay, let's do this puzzle. The pieces look like they flew to both sides of the room. Bruh, I was just here. Well, definitely. The moon shines on the truth. I promise you. So. Okay, what's in this room? That's this is the room that was red. Oh. This is an origami bird I made for you. Oh. Okay. The music here. This looks like a fun room, a toy room for a kid. Someone's birthday happened. Okay, I'm guessing they want me to do this puzzle. Oh, the building block. Oh shoot, I, I missed all of that. Okay. Look here, we are immovable like a mountain. Even the most intense shakedowns will not topple us. But what's the point of everything if we have no playmates? He won't return. He has been discarded. And so have we. So Mikhail was discarded. But it sounds like Mikhail is the, the sus one here. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's going on, y'all. Very faintly, you seem to hear the blocks whimpering softly. But when you want to listen more closely, all sound has vanished. That one room we never had as children? True. <laughs> Uh, you, I feel like in order to have a separate playroom, you gotta just be born rich. Because <laughs> who could afford having an entire room just for play, for toys and stuff? In this economy? Sad gear. That's all. Oh. Oh. 
Wait a second. I am confusion. <laughs> like this? Okay, it is like this. <laughs> this is too, this is too trippy. And then we rotate it like this. Oh, okay. It just works like that. All right. Let's go. Yes. Slay. All right, I think we go back out. Now we have both pieces. We can solve this puzzle. Oh, wait, what? We didn't interact? Oh, okay. This should fill in the empty spaces in the puzzle. I will protect you from harm. So Mikhail is seems like is going off the deep end. <laughs> is what I'm getting from this. Whoever Mikhail is was going through it. The wall has vanished. <laughs> Feels like we're reaching the end, right? I don't know if I want to reach the end. I will not lie. <laughs> Seems very ominous. Oh, oh, here's a tunnel. Excuse me? Excuse me? Okay. The lights turn off when I enter this tunnel. Why is it a horror movie? I thought it was my Star Rail. <laughs> Not a horror game. What is this? It's so creepy. Oh. What could uh, possibly go wrong? Just one chest. I'm sure that's not a trap. <laughs> yeah, I agree, Firefly. <laughs> totally not it? a trap. Never seen a less suspicious thing in my life, actually. Okay, just clearing the room, you know? Clearing, make sure, making sure we check all the rat corners. No one's hiding behind a... Behind a wall. All right. Someone's treasure. Let's see who's. What's going on? The lights have all turned on. So creepy. I prefer the lights being on than off. Firefly. So I'm not complaining. But since there are so many. But there's these are all the TVs. We should be able to leave through one of them. Oh wait, these are all of the TVs from one of the flashbacks. Wait, wait, maybe it has something to do with the mini game. You know how the mini game we go into the TV, we get we swap places? That's one of the TVs right here. I obviously like you know, it's not on, but and maybe they're just using the same asset, but maybe the I guess origins of that game are a bit more sinister than we thought. Hmm. A known fragment. Which door is it? Let me guess. All of the doors lead into hallways that lead to this back into this room. Well, I've already opened most of the doors. I'll open all of them. <laughs> but yeah, I think they all go out. Okay. Well, let's just go through this one. any portal wait but my objective is over there oh <laughs> let me guess I'm going back into the same room yeah yeah okay the exact same room the TV's around Help me. I didn't jump guys okay I didn't I didn't you guys saw nothing Any door works the same? Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> All right, I didn't know we were watching the goddamn ring. Well, here we go again. I won't jump this time. It's gonna go zap zap. Oh my god. Oh my god. No! Why would you do this? Turtle, that's so mean. That's so messed up. <laughs> No, because they're opening doors too. Shit. <laughs> oh 
Holy shit, that scared the fuck out of me. Yeah, me too. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> I look to my left and right. Well, yeah, me too. Because for me, it starts on the side of my room where there's a window. So I always feel like there's someone knocking on my window whenever I hear that sound alone. <laughs> that was, that was pretty good timing. I acknowledge. <laughs> this again. No, wait. Could it be? Oh, get in. Do not open the box. You have nowhere to go. Don't let him get away. Excuse me? No, don't come close. Why is the music so creepy? All right, last time. Last round. I don't really want to open this door. I will not lie. <laughs> I don't. I don't want to do it. It is actually Jover. Oh, I do not like the fact that those TVs are pointing at me. Henakoni must save itself? Don't let him get away? Give me that! Help me, don't, don't come close. Mikhail, come back. What is going on? What did Mikhail do? Alright. This is the final time. <laughs> the TVs are so bright. It's hurting my eyes. Careful. Something's up. Oh god, okay. Epilepsy warning. Oh what? Oh The ring! It's actually the ring. Holy shit. <laughs> that was the nightmare boss. Hello? What Boss fight? <laughs> right away? I underestimated you. Um, okay. Lend me your strength. Intriguing. <laughs> to guard and defend. That was creepy. That was that was messed. Memory zone meme. Something unto death. Wait, why is it called meme? <laughs> Wait, guys, this battle music is eternal. I'll see you off. It's something. Blue. That is for sure. Save it for your own skin. Eternal sleep. I keep feeling death. like it's gonna have a sick drop, but then it just becomes a bit unsettling and creepy. <laughs> this song is good. It is. It is quite good. You'll pay for this. Lend me your strength. Tedious. <laughs> Morbid dream? You chose the wrong enemy. <laughs> Bro, did he just kidnap my Ron <laughs> May? Excuse me? Can I heal that? I can't heal it! Shit! Oh god, um What do I do about that? <laughs> Using damage over time can quickly destroy. Oh. Oh, I have to break it out of a prison. Oh. Okay. Uh, <laughs> wait, will Ron may die if I don't get her out in time? Okay. Welcome back, bestie. I feel like I need to heal Ron May. <laughs> I will not lie. Receive divinity. We'll do that just so in case. This is the one of life. You need either Ratio or Danny Young? Oh, I do have Danny Young. Ready for I mean, I feel like maybe we'll be able to clear it. Let's try. We'll give it a try with this team, and then if not, I'll switch to my Dan Young team. <laughs> you got luck. This mother kept tar this mother ever kept targeting my DPS? Oh no! I mean, hey, we don't know who he's gonna target in the future. Dr. Ratio made this fight so easy? My Dr. Ratio isn't built, but I do have uh, Imbiber de Lune, so... <laughs> be fine. And we can't do it here. Lend me your strength. Okay, you know what? We've entered the storm. We'll use everything. I'd use that in the wrong order. To guard and defend. It's fine. Crush them. It's All fine. Everything is Daijo Boo. In lunar flame. It's scary how this boss only captures like Starrock, but steals the, the sword. I mean, it just looks creepy. 
It also came out of a bunch of TVs in a horror-like atmosphere. <laughs> so Every everything about it is very unsettling. All will be swept away by the wind. Just don't play hyper carry. Just use dots. <laughs> I don't have any dots. Team is the issue. Blade <laughs> of moonlight. But I think Dan Hong would work because his auto does three they hits, right? All these creatures are they the secret the family's hiding? I mean, the, the family's been doing a pretty job, good job at keeping them at bay so far. So even if they're hiding it, no, she's talking to my Bronya. Shit. Lend me your strength. No, Beth, no, no, my girl. We'll get you back. We'll get you Is back, Bronya. No All right. Here, we'll Eternal do this. Sleep. The dead return. That'll get rid of one stack and also give myself some of the flowers. Tedious. Oh, this song, though. Wait, guys. The boss music slaps! The endless lifespan is just a bitter wait for insanity. Like, it's not super pleasant, but it's kind of a bop. Just pray and hope it never targets your Jinglu. I mean, even if it does target my Jinglu, I feel like it should be fine, right? Because I can just break it. I only need five hits on it anyways, so... Should be all right. I should. Use, I can divinity. use one. Wait, what? Skin. I thought it was Ron May's turn. We've entered the storm. To guard and okay. defend, crush them. We should be fine here. Every petal in life's garden. Lubocha did. Lubocha is actually so broken. <laughs> Oh, the Mocha is so strong. <laughs> and for what? In lunar flame. Is this nip because it's trying to break free from the jazzy oh, atmosphere of Pentacon? Yeah. Yeah, I mean obviously it's a nightmare. No, you bitch! You chose the You wrong sh little shit. He took my TPS! God! <laughs> I mean, okay. Fight with me! Some value, I suppose. Will I be fine? Eternal sleep. this. Return. Will I be okay? Oh, what? Nowhere Wait, how run. many stacks did that do? I swear, she needed more. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not complaining. It cannot come to pass. Oh. Oh. oh firefly. No. Oh my God. Wait, what is purple? Who uses purple? Acheron? No, Black Swan! Black Swan! Holy crap! Wait! Wait, <laughs> wait, mommy to the rescue! If you don't know the right technique, you might never return from the shadow of death, emerging without a scratch. <laughs> oh, he broke free. Aw, oh, shit. It's okay, Black Swan got her cool entrance. Oh wait, what? Oh, we have to fight again? Wait, wait, he steals two now? Black Swan is, will assist in battle? Okay, Memo Keeper has arrived. Mommy Keeper. Wait, he took my healer. Shit. Okay, let's get her out first. This battle is unavoidable. And then... Oh, okay. If you break it, then it does more stacks at once. Receive divinity. Your assistance is timely. Well, I suppose. We've entered the storm. Let's use all of our ults. To guard and defend. <laughs> the Memo Keeper's arrived. Her Every entrance was so badass. All will be swept Let's go. Away by the wind. Black Swan has such an angelic voice in my Eternal opinion. I can listen to her voice forever. The, the dead It's return. very soothing. It's soothing, but also sweet at the same time. All will be revealed in lunar flame. I think I should be fine. Eternal. 
Blade of Moonlight. Because it doesn't, it's not like super tanky. So I think I do Don't enough DPS that I will be able to beat it. Lend me your strength. <laughs> Especially because my team's broken. <laughs> I'll so we are chilling. He's gonna steal two more here. Oh, never mind. Characters who act on their own initiative will be locked in. Wait, so what am I supposed to do? Not act on my own initiative? Huh? What? How does that work? Hello? Nightfall. Locks onto the next two characters to either use their basic attack skill or ultimate. Wait, so there's nothing I can do though, because I can't- it's not like Reverse 1999 where I can move cards around. Here I literally just have to- <laughs> it's whoever has the next turn. <laughs> there's nothing I can do about it. <laughs> That's messed up, hello? <laughs> well. <laughs> This battle is Shrugs. unavoidable. What if I just use all of my <laughs> Use all of my shit. <laughs> to guard and defend. Crush them. What if he dies Every before he gets to take another turn? Will be swept away by the wind. I'll show you Eternal nightmare. Sleep. The dead return. The only nightmares I have are losing my 50-50 revealed. In lunar flame. Lend me your strength. Stand down. Okay, I think I act do I actually kill him here? I think I do. <laughs> yeah, nice lock on nice lock on, idiot. See you next time. Oh. Oh. Hurry. Oh, did she make a portal too? Yo, she can do everything. <laughs> Black Swan slays! She saved us! Do we get to talk to her outside of the dream? You're we awake, do. Lazy bug. Looks like you had a nice dream. <laughs> I I mean, you know how it was, Black Swan. You literally saved her asses. <laughs> I don't think it was that nice, I'll be honest. <laughs> oh, how we're in reality it? reality now. Did you dream of me? Yeah. Does she remember the dreams? Am I in heaven or <laughs> Am I in heaven because I see you in front of me? Welcome to reality. More specifically, the reverie. The safest and most familiar place you can be. I'm happy to see that you've kept your wits and that you haven't been affected by the primal dreamscape. How lucky. Is the primal dreamscape, uh, I guess, the real dreamscape where we just saw the monster just now? That's what I'm assuming. Firefly, did she make it out? Yeah, where is she? <laughs> You're quite concerned about that young lady. That's fair. She was hellbent on assuring Aww. your safety, even at She the tried to protect us! Started to tug a little at my heartstrings, even. I know you've many questions, so Aww. please, compose yourself. Before that, you should let your friends know you're safe. Okay, okay, Slay. Assemble with the crew? Not bad. Well, we finally back in reality, boys. We made it. So, wait, she didn't answer the question. Is Firefly safe? <laughs> Black Swan answered the question by not answering the question. <laughs> this is the perfect spot to stop. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Is it? Is it? Well, 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 well. All right, before we go to see the others, then I guess... Now I've left on a cliffhanger! Guys, how am I supposed to wait till tomorrow? That's messed up! <laughs> no! God, come on, come on! <laughs> how do you like the story so far? Hey, it's been really cool. They still haven't really shown us, explained anything, but I think we're getting a little bit more knowledge. Like I said, I think this Mikhail individual... I'm still not too sure if Mikhail is the good guy or the bad guy here. <laughs> it's very ambiguous. I think based on the end there, it kind of seems like uh, Mikhail was the good kid still. Even though in the middle, it did seem a little bit sus. But yeah, I don't know if Mikhail is the... <laughs> the watchmaker or the grandson or something else. Uh, it's very ambiguous. 
so far. I'm trying my hardest not to spoil a thing, and I really appreciate it, Ali. Yeah, thank you guys so much for not spoiling anything, because it's definitely a lot more exciting when you don't know what's gonna happen, that's for sure. <laughs> so... Oh, I'm I'm very curious as to what actually is going to be going on. There is one thing though. I do feel like I do have one theory as well. I do feel like maybe Mikhail, yeah, like you guys said, is very similar in name to Misha. So I feel like there might be a relation there because the thing about Misha as well, right? Is Misha's eye, the shape of their Misha's pupil is the door key. It is the same shape as all of the doors in this hotel, like here, right? So I find that, I found that very odd the first time we met Misha. Because I know there's a lot of odd uh, eye shapes here in Penacone, but that was very specific, right? And especially for a four-star character, <laughs> too. So I feel like there might be some relation there. Don't confirm or deny it. Don't confirm or deny it. <laughs> this is just me, me theorizing. But I, I'm very curious to see if that is true or not. Mikhail, good, bad? We'll find out soon. But yeah, that, that thing at the end though, the end part, you know, in the room with the horror vibes? They did really well. That was actually quite creepy. Because <laughs> it's not just um, them making a creepy atmosphere, right? It's them forcing you to basically repeatedly enter the atmosphere yourself. And then each time you go in, it becomes significantly worse and worse. So it's kind of like we are also experiencing whatever mental or deterioration that was going on in the story in the past that we are we were currently in. And obviously they'll explain it in more detail later, I'm sure. But <laughs> just in general, I feel like Penacone, all of the different atmospheres that they've created have worked so well. But yeah, the story is looking super cool so far. I can't believe I have to end on a cliffhanger, but hey, hey, it's okay. We're gonna be in for a wild ride next time for the finale of Fenacone's first act. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the story and my reactions. And yeah, I've been really enjoying it so far. So I can't wait. And yeah, if you guys enjoyed, please make sure to once again leave a like and comment down below and also subscribe to the channel if you want to be notified the next time I am live. Apart from that, thank you guys so much for watching and I can't wait. I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Take care and I'll see you. Bye bye bye.